morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome you to this press conference. And this is the Naila uh, Youth Forum, our national, uh, our national chair, Tawanda Kalunga, is going to take us through the press statement. Thank you very much. The National Electoral Reforms Agenda is a consortium of political parties which are bound by the need to ensure that Zimbabwe electoral processes are strengthened and that they improve in efficiency and effectiveness. It is peer added by 22 political parties who are signatories to the NERA document as endorsed in 2015. It has also benefited immensely from civic and interest groups such as labor, the church, and NGOs, and such is a prepared to work with them in the struggle for free, fair, and safe elections. Um, conscious of our role as a generation most affected by electoral theft, realizing the potential we have as a di distinct group in Zimbabwe, Worried by the deliberate and intentional errors by ZEC in administration of electoral process and collating of results, and consequently ZEC has failed to operate as an independent entry and prescribed by the Constitution of Zimbabwe. Coming together as united group of youth leaders from 22 political parties who appended signatures to the NERA document and are bound by the values of democracy, transparency, integrity, and accountability with the equation of developmental state that is people centered. Call upon the Constitutional Court and Global Fraternity to ensure we have a legitimate government which has both input and output legitimacy. Facilitate the Secretariat of ZEC be run by competent and non-partisan individuals. Note with concern all the issues that have, re, uh, that have been raised by several petitions with the Parliament and SEC and have not yet been given due attention. Plead with the Constitutional Court to ensure that the alleged infringements of the fundamental human rights as a result of SEC's intentional and skewed errors and incompetence are reversed. We pray that the above mentioned demands be made with no delay so that we rescue Zimbabwe out of this political and legitimate crisis that we have always seemed to find ourselves in. Failure to achieve this, the NERA Youth Forum will mobilize the young people of this country to take it upon themselves to rescue this country from the political, economic, and legitimate crisis by any means possible. We will be implementing our end game strategy which intends to ensure that we do not slide back into suppression of people's basic rights. Thank you. Uh, I'll give uh, our organizer, Comrade Chinobusa, to take it from here. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Chairman. I think just to add to uh, the statement that we've made today, uh, um, as young people of uh, in this country and coming under the banner of the National Elections Reform Agenda, the NERA, we are cognizant of the fact that as young people in this country, we contribute uh, not less than 60% of the population in this country. And therefore, whatever happens in this country is a direct bearing in our warfare as young people. So we are also conscious of the fact that tomorrow um, uh, uh, the Constitutional Court is sitting to hear a petition uh, put forward by the MDC Alliance uh, with regards to uh, the bundling that uh, happened, uh, that was done by ZEC. We have confidence that uh, our, our, our judiciary will be able to deal with this matter in the best possible manner that is possible. But we are, however, conscious of the fact that there are individuals within uh, the state machinery that have been uh, pushing to make sure that the will of the people is subverted and the will of the people is not realized. So we are not limiting ourselves as young people to the outcome of the court uh, on Wednesday or whatever date that is going to come. We it is fully respect um, uh, the Constitutional Court and want to give them the benefit of doubt. But however, as young people, we reserve the right to liberate ourselves. We reserve the right to make sure that as young people, our concerns and demands are made and realized. We will not accept a situation where 
uh, our future is going to be stolen simply because there are people in this country who believe that they are the ones who are supposed to be ruling this country forever. We know that President Chamisa won this election and we are only waiting for the Constitutional Court uh, to, 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 to rule uh, in that manner. But however, if it happens that um, the Constitutional Court does not uh, make or does not uh, respect the will of the people by ensuring that President Chamisa is, uh, is, is put as president of this country, we reserve the right as the young people of this country to make sure that we have a lot of things within our capacity, we have a lot of avenues within our capacity as young people to say we are not going to allow ourselves to have another five more years of suffering, we are not going to continue to have another five more years of ensuring that uh, the people of Zimbabwe do not if uh, do, uh, uh, their, their will is not respected. So basically, we are coming here today as young people of this country to say we will be patient with the, with the court as far as uh, their upholding of the people's will is concerned. But want to also make it clear and make a clear statement that we are worried as young people about the continued militarization in this country. We appeal to the regional bodies, we appeal to SADA, we appeal to the international community to deal with the issues of the military in this country once and for all. We have heard from grapevine that uh, President Mnangagwa had accepted the defeat. And, uh, but it's only the military element within the ruling Zanubio uh, that has stopped uh, President Chamisa from being inaugurated. So we are appealing to the international community to also be decisive with the military in this country, to make sure that the military does not continue to... Uh, and when I talk of the military effect, I'm not talking of the saving uh, generals. I'm not talking of uh, Comrade uh, Philip Valerius Vanda, who we have confidence in, but I'm talking of the remnants of the military that, uh, that, that came uh, uh, post uh, the, the November 2017 coup. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the people that are in the, are the government right now, they should be able to know that they have, led, they have since left the military and they need to leave the military uh, to do its work. They need to leave Comrade Valerius Vanda to command the army as he is the rightful commander of the military. So we have confidence in uh, Comrade Philip Valerius Vanda, but we are worried about the remnants of the military uh, that are now in, uh, in, in Mnangagwa's government. And we are appealing to SADAC, we are appealing to the AU, we are appealing to the international community to come to the rescue of Zimbabweans, to come to the rescue of the people of Zimbabwe. We have voted overwhelmingly in the last election and we have, we have voted for President uh, Nelson Chamisa. We have noted also that uh, young people, when they attempted to demonstrate, uh, they were met with a heavy hand by the, by, 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 by the government of the day. But we will not be worried. We, are not, uh, we, 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 we do not fear. We know that lives have been lost, and we are conscious of the fact that we do not necessarily need to be reckless in as far as protecting and safeguarding the people's lives is concerned. But given a choice, of having to suffer for five years or having to liberate ourselves. I think we'll go for the latter where we'll have to liberate ourselves once and for all. So we have confidence that uh, tomorrow as uh, the Constitutional Court is sitting, they will be able to uphold the people's will and deal away with the bungling and the errors that were part and parcel of uh, the Zimbabwe Election Commission. So basically this is our, our, our statement to, 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 to the nation and uh, to the young people of this country to say when you hear us calling on you to liberate yourselves, we are asking you to take heed and make sure that we liberate. When the people that went to war liberated themselves, they were as young as we are. When the people that went to, uh, to, to fight in Mozambique, to fight in Zambia, went, made that, those, that conscious decision to go and fight, they were aware that either they were going to die or they were going to come back and lead this country. So we are aware that as we embark on this journey to liberate ourselves, we may have to ultimately lose our lives. We may have to ultimately uh, uh, sacrifice our time. We may have to ultimately sacrifice by going to jail. We do not fear that. We are putting ourselves, when the moment that we decided to be leaders of young people in this country, we're putting our lives at stake. And this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to make sure that as young people, we we'll be at the forefront of ensuring that as young people, our right our, our, our right to vote is respected and our decision and our choice uh, uh, for, for, for government is respected. 
So basically, I think, uh, Chairman, that is what I wanted to add. Yes, thank you. Uh, we're going to take questions uh, led by our uh, chairperson for information and publicity, Office Mkari, and the panel, which also include um, our Secretary General, uh, Tatenda Chikwada, uh, our coordinator, Lawrence Tembeza, Gladys Sewe, uh, the gender rep, and uh, Deputy Chair, Rose Nyamdanda, who also help to answer the questions uh, to you, Chair. All right, we open the floor for questions. Take three questions first, then uh, we'll allow the panel to respond, and we'll take other questions. Yes. I have two questions. My name is Lucy Yassin. The first one, you're saying you're going to mobilize the youth. The first one, you're saying you're going to mobilize the youth. Uh, uh, again, if the, the ruling that comes out tomorrow is not in favor of what you believe should be, is that not incitement, number one? Then the second question is, you are calling on the international community, SADAC, AU, and the other international bodies to assist Zimbabwe in this uh, constitutional stalemate as well as addressing Zimbabwe's issue. We've had instances 2008, 2013, and up to today, where you are the same people who have been complaining that SADAC and AU are toothless dogs. Uh, how so now you are inviting them to come and assist? Oh, I, I have never, I have never, I have never said that SADAC is a toothless uh, dog. No, not um, you specifically, yeah. so but will, as, will, as opposition. I will limit myself to, to what I believe in. And the situation that we are faced with at the moment, uh, as far as I as far as concerned as young people of this country, is that uh, we need the cooperation of everybody. You see, when you look at uh, the military junta that we have in this country as a government, uh, they, 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 they have attempted to portray themselves as people uh, that are reforming or that are, on the, on the, that are on the route to reform. And I think this is Zimbabweans we've done everything that we're supposed to do within our means, which is to vote. And we voted overwhelmingly for President Tamisa. And when the military steps in to stop the people's will from prevailing, where else should we turn to? This, our struggle has never been a violent struggle. Our struggle remains a very peaceful struggle. And the reason why we are calling upon this board is for them to realize that the continued enjoyment of peace in this country rests on their ability to be able to, 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 to intervene and solve the crisis at the end. This is a difficult problem to solve. Zimbabweans alone cannot be able to solve this military factor. We have not yet a direct military uh, in, in, in interference in the running of this country. Mugabe was using uh, the military before, but it was not as uh, they are being done, as they are being used today. We actually have most of the people that were in the military now serving in government. So this is a unique case that would require each and every individual and each and every body to come in on board and then be able to assist the people of Zimbabwe. So we are calling upon them because at the end of the day, the lives of the people of Zimbabwe, of the, the lives of Zimbabweans matter. Uh, the peace that we have in this country matters, and also the economic stability of this country matters. There's no way the, legit, the political uh, legitimacy in this country can be solved without necessarily involving uh, SADAC, without necessarily involving AU, and without necessarily involving uh, the international community. This is a cry. If they fail to heed our cry for, for, for them to intervene, then so be it. On the issue of incitement, we are not inciting anyone. We are simply saying that as young people, we have made a decision that we want President Chamisa to be the leader of this country. And we made a decision, but we, we went further to vote for him. And all we are asking for is for the powers that be to give us a chance to live normal lives as young people in this country, to give us a chance to get jobs, to give us a chance to enjoy. We live only once. And we are appealing to everybody that we are appealing to Mnanga. We know for a fact that Mnanga understands and accepts that he lost in this election. And why can't he not just uh, let it go? So it's not incitement. We will not, be, we will not incite anyone. But we are saying we have the powers as young people. If we voted, why can we not just again show it by we'll show our force, show our strength by, 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 by demonstrating as an example, show our force by praying. Show our force by going all over the, the, the place, going all over the country, showing that as young people, we do not accept this government, we do not accept Mnangaba as the leader of this country. 
are in addition to that, we said we are not limiting ourselves to the outcome of the court. Uh, we have structures all over the country, from provincial level, constituency level, um, up to the uh, street committees, we have structures all over the country. So what we are saying, we are saying uh, as this committee, we are representing millions of young people out there. So uh, despite the, the court outcome, we are going to mobilize people because the, the young people, they are will, uh, we are representing the, the will of the people. So if we feel that, that the will of the people is not recognized, we are, we are going to, to, to mobilize the people. And we are saying, uh, despite the court outcome, uh, ZEC is not competent enough to run elections. It, it, it has been shown by the results, even the announcement, the errors, uh, which are intentional errors. You can, they, they could even read what they pretend when announcing the results. So we still feel that ZEC is not credible to run elections despite the court outcome. So we are not limiting ourselves to the court outcome, but we are going to mobilize uh, young people so that we have uh, elections which are free, credible, and fair at the end of the day. Thank you. A follow-up to your question, Tafumane from Slainit. You are saying you have structures uh, countrywide, and um, at the moment, after the results were announced, you seem not to have um, healers informed from other polling stations also, when you have structures <coughs> around the country. Do we have healers informed? It has been confirmed that there are not enough to to to, to um, fairly represent all the polling stations from the eleven thousand polling stations countrywide. From as far as we know, as young people, uh, we we yet uh, uh, polling agents uh, throughout the country. Uh, though some were intimidated, uh, if you go to uh, I was campaigning in Mount Darin South, uh, in in those areas. Our polling agents uh, actually uh, were intimidated by ZANPF and we had police reports that we, we made and some of them uh, were not even allowed to send those V11 forms. So if there are some we don't have, it's not because it, uh, uh, we don't have structures, it's, it's actually some of the electoral reforms we are fighting for that there was intimidation, the use of traditional leaders which were being used to intimidate uh, our polling agents, the use of ZANPF, uh, there, there's a lot that happened during the elections, which we, we might not want to go into details at this press conference. Other questions? Yes. Okay, uh, my name is Munashi. My question is, um, after the uh, one August incident, uh, do you think you're going to uh, conquer is a uh, concrete result after the Concord uh, ruling. You went what? Uh, conquer a concrete result uh, by your means after the one August uh, incident. You mean if uh, the court, the, the, the ruling does not go in our favor? Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. No. We, we, we have said, we are clear that um, we are not only limiting ourselves to demonstrations again. Demonstrations is going to be just one of the ways we're going to show. Um, our, our, our strength as young people and to show our disapproval of this government. If, if, if it still happens that um, 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 the, 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 the bank would take um, uh, results are kept as they are. Um, there are several things uh, that we're going to be doing as young people in this country. Uh, some of them I think I've highlighted to them that even, even also involve and include uh, putting pressure on the international community, the region and so forth. So we, we, we will not be limited to, of course, the streets will remain our second homes, fine. But there are going to be several, it's going to be a process of delegitimization that is going to happen. So some people should brave itself for a delegitimization process that's going to be led by young people in this country. So we are, we are, we are certain that no matter how, how long it will take us, we will be able to continue with this process until Zimbabwe gets a government that it deserves. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, as Nera, there was a time when the, you, the momentum was high, you were pushing for electoral reforms, and then you just went down. <coughs> now you are visible, you are now coming out in the open. Um, why have you been so quiet? Because some, there are certain quarters out there that believe you are a reactionary uh, organization. No, 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 we are not a national organization. If anything, if Zek had listened to our demands, I think we had met with very clear demands that we wanted to make sure that if they had been implemented, we're not going to have this mess that we find ourselves in. 
So it is actually the failure of Zek to listen to our cries and our concerns as, as Nera and as, 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 as all the other governments that are making such demands to, Nera, to, 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 to say. So we don't believe that we're quiet. A change, and a change of tact and a change of strategy does not necessarily mean that we're quiet. We're probably not as visible as you have loved us to be, but we're also busy consolidating. That's why we are saying here, and we're coming to you with enough confidence to say we will be able to sustain this program of action that we're beginning now. Take two last questions. Yes, this one. If the international community or SADC or AU does not positively um, respond to your demands, what are you going to do? We're not budgeting for failing. We, we are hoping that uh, we'll be able to make our case. Uh, even when, when people, when, when, when so many revolutions started, it has never been clear, it has never been on the, everybody understanding why people are fighting the, the certain cause. So we're hoping that if we're going to put up a sustained onslaught of, 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 of the regime, and we're also going to be able to make our case clear, as clearly as possible, and continuously knock on their doors, I think they'll be able to hear us. I think you will see that, um, the level of goodwill that this guy, this guy, this 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 outgoing government was getting, has changed uh, since uh, since they shot people, and we 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 are hoping that as as, as the Nera Youth Forum, as young people, and the other challenge that we have had in this country is that the case for Zimbabweans has never been put across by young people, and we're taking it upon ourselves as young people to then say, we need to be heard. There are young people across the globe. So when you look at when you talk of the international committee, let's not also limit our 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 our, our strategy to, to just these big bodies and big men. We are also looking at how best can we create synergies and links with other young people across the globe. How can we engage young people across Africa for them to be able to spearhead the case, the cause and the case for Zimbabweans? So we are not budgeting for failure. We have a lot of things that we are pushing that will be pushing. And there will be a lot of uh, strategies that we'll be embarking on, and we don't believe that we'll be able to fail. We are going to fail. Maybe my last question. You, you as, as youth, you have uh, been seen to be used by um, political leaders. Um, firstly, by taking advantage of uh, the unemployment rate, which is uh, in the country, and we are all aware of that. And uh, what disciplinary measures or uh, lectures are you teaching each other that we cannot continue to be used by being given free beer in order to participate in uh, uh, violent activities? Well, the starting point is us coming together as young people is, 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 is for us a good starting point because we, we realized that as young people there's nothing that's going to come to us as long as we are not united. And there's nothing that's going to come to us as long as we do not know the agenda of why we are pursuing any, any uh, this this trouble. So it's, it's a journey. It's, a, it's it's not going to be a one day event where people will be able to appreciate and understand that it only takes us as young people to liberate ourselves as young people. Um, but I also think it has been over 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 exaggerated that young people are used in this country because when you see young people uh, demanding better things in this country, they are not doing it for the older generation. They are doing it for themselves. When you see young people demanding a government that is responsible, demanding a government that has been elected, they are not doing it for the leader. We are doing it for ourselves. We are the ones that have been struggling for this long. We are the ones that are out of employment. We are the ones that are failing to 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 to, to get married. We are the ones that are failing to finish our studies. So when we begin to talk and ask key questions and we begin to ask critical questions, we are not doing that for anyone, but we are doing it for ourselves because we believe on if all things being equal, we still have more years than any other grouping in this country because of our age. But obviously we when we when we, when we begin to question such when we begin to bring up such issues, people are quick to say we are doing it for money or we are doing it to for, 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 for any if anything. We, 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 we are doing it for ourselves and, and, and the younger generation that is to come. Violently? No, we've never been. Our struggle has never been a violent struggle. There has never been a violent struggle. In any case, if we, and we have to make it clear that we have, we have the capacity to be violent. I mean, this country has young people uh, that is the capacity to be violent. But we have deliberately said we will not be violent. 
we have deliberately said we are not going to engage in violence because we know that is what the NPF wants us to get to, to the, that's the default mode that they want us to get into. And obviously when we do our demonstrations, we've also learned uh, following the, the one August demonstration that um, when people engage in demonstrations, it's not everybody who is understanding or who is doing it in a peaceful manner. So whatever engagement that we're going to have in the future, we're going to make sure that we're going to have enough marshals, we're going to have enough people that will make sure that any nearer demonstration is not going to be any form of violence. We learned again when we had our demonstrations last the other year, the August and the September demonstrations, we learned that there are always more contents who come in to disturb, who come in to destroy. We do not seek to destroy this country, we do not seek to uh, destroy property in this country because in any case, we are the ones who are supposed to inherit this country. So we, we have never, we have never uh, uh, Bordered our struggles around violence. Ours remain a non-violent, peaceful struggle that we believe will be able to take us to the promised land. Last one. Thank you. Thank you. My last, last one. Question. The junta you made reference to is the same junta that Zimbabweans, the youths in particular, celebrated in November when they took over a government from the former president Mugabe. Why now that they are now? speaking against them saying you are not happy you know what they, they just, these are the same people that were celebrated that they were heroes yes we are not uh, apologetic about the fact that we supported uh, uh, the military coup that happened in this country young people in this country we supported it on the basis that we wanted robert mugabe to leave office because as far as what we were concerned he was the first stumbling block towards the realization of democracy in this country so the fact that we supported the junta in november does not uh, give them the right to continue leading us when the people have stated clearly that they do not want to be led uh, by this guy, by, by, by this junta. They played a part in November when they removed Robert Mugabe, and we appreciate that. But when the people of Zimbabwe have made a decision, as they did on 30 July, that they want a new government that's led by Nelson Chamisa, they should also be able to do the same. We celebrated when they did it. We should also celebrate when people decided that Nelson Chamisa should lead us. So, we should not be holding dry, hold the dry zone because we supported the military when they removed Robert Mugabe. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's meet you on the streets and God bless you. Good day.